Hi there, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am so excited to show you my latest make, this awesome trench coat. But first, I'd like to thank our sponsor for this video, Ana Luisa Jewelry. They are a jewelry company based in New York City with designers that previously worked with brands I love, like Tory Burch and Alexander Wang. Each piece is individually handcrafted with the same materials used by companies like David Yerman, Gucci, Hermes, and Celine. They gifted me these super sweet flower stud earrings to show y'all. These delicate earrings feature a pearl and an artistic enamel layer. With a vibrant pink color and feminine design, the Irish pink gold-plated studs feel and look amazing. They are 14 karat gold-plated stud earrings and each one is individually hand-painted. I love that custom detail and as a crafter, I can appreciate the work that goes into jewelry like this. There's not a better time to shop Ana Luisa Jewelry as they have several sales going on right now for the holidays. In fact, these exact earrings are marked down almost 30% right now. Additionally, Ana Luisa Jewelry has generously offered my viewers a coupon for $10 off your purchase with the code LINDSAYJ10. Head to the link in my bio to shop. Okay, back to the trench. When I saw Simplicity 8554, I knew that I would have a version all my own. It didn't take much to plan out the project as I wanted to copy the sample garment almost exactly. I just fell in love with the drape and flow of the design and in my opinion, you can't have too many olive green jackets, am I right? This soft trench coat and jacket are the perfect layering pieces. Length options include short, mid, and long with side slits and optional pockets and ties. For my version, I took the basic jacket and then added in all the bells and whistles of a traditional trench, including the length of A and the wrist ties and chest flaps from C. Interesting fact, these chest flaps are actually called gun flaps. They were included on a soldier's trench coat to prevent early wear during the firing of a weapon. Some of them even included an opening under the flap where the soldier could easily access a pistol. They are obviously pretty pointless now since most people wearing trench coats aren't walking around firing shotguns, but they added a classic detail that I wanted to include. I made a straight size 14 and shortened it by six inches to make sure it hit me just below the knee. The length is really just a personal preference and I didn't think that ankle length would be super flattering on me. For fabric, I found the perfect balance of drape and structure in this soft tensile twill from Stylemaker Fabrics. It comes in a whopping 14 different colorways. Mine is the color Hunter. Tencel is actually the brand name of a fiber called Lyocell. It's environmentally friendly, made from a sustainably sourced natural raw material wood. Tencel is known for its great strength, efficient moisture absorption, and gentleness to the skin. Another fun fact, Lyocell was developed in 1972 by a team at a fibers facility in Inca, North Carolina. Check the description box for a link to the Inca, North Carolina Wikipedia page. There's a lot of great information there, especially if you're familiar with the Asheville area. I really enjoyed reading it, so I thought you guys might too. For fun, I lined the gun flaps with a bright floral quilting cotton I had in my stash. So what do you think of my new coat? I've worn it a couple of times this month and it's proving to be the perfect layering piece for our mild fall temperatures here in South Carolina. I hope you like it as much as I do and don't forget to go check out Anna Luisa Jewelry. Until next time, bye.